Hey everyone, it's Amy. Today I'm gonna to take you on a vlog. Okay, so I went on a mission this morning. I got up, I got me Dunkin' Donuts. I went across town to the beauty supply store, uh, Global Beauty. I have clips of the outside, but I did not get any clips of the inside because there was a beauty school field trip going on in there. So there's a bunch of girls in there, so I didn't film the inside at all. But I went to get a new nail rack because I needed one more. This one looks like it might be a little bit different style than the ones I have, but this is the only one that they have in stock right now. And I really wanna finish organizing the nail studio today. So we're gonna take this home. We're gonna hope that it matches my other shells. I'm not very hopeful, but I'm hoping I can make do with it because I really wanna get this done today. And then I also got some other supplies from Global Beauty. So I'll show you some of the things I got from there. And then I just stopped at Bath and Body Works. I had some free rewards that were expiring. So I got some You're the One shower gel and lotion. I already have the spray at home. It's a beautiful like rose scent. I love rose scents. So pick those up while it's out, but let's go home. Let me show you what I'm working with in the nail studio. It is a disaster and I just want to get it all cleaned up and organized. I've been saying for months now that I'm going to do it. So today is finally the day as long as this shelf works. Fingers crossed. Okay, so I'm back home. I want to show you what I'm working with. So it is a disaster. I have a bunch of stuff I need to put away because I was filming. Didn't finish putting stuff away. That bag is for press-ons and stuff. But here is my two racks. I hope my new one matches here. Because then we have my nail sign that's going to go up on top. This other rack that does not match this one is going to go up on this corner here. And then I have a bunch of other stuff. Those two boxes are the rest of my nail supplies I need to get put away. This stuff right here is my Cricut stuff. So I actually bought myself a Cricut for Black Friday. It's in that bag. It's a nice little uh, traveling bag for the Cricut that my boyfriend had bought me. I bought myself the Cricut. So I want to organize. I have a shelf that's going to go right here for the Cricut stuff. So I want to put all of this stuff it needs to get put away. Everything needs to get hung up. So this is the cart that I got for my Cricut stuff. So it's double, double row bins. And then it's wide enough on the top that the Cricut can sit up there. So this rolling cart is same style as my rainbow one. It's just a double one. And I think it's a little bit shorter than that one. So that's gonna go in that corner with all the Cricut stuff. And then here's the shelf that I bought. So let me, pull this out and let's see if it matches up. Okay, I've pulled the rack out. Let's see if it fits. Oh, I'm so nervous. It fits. Oh my gosh. That is so exciting. It is a little bit different style than these two, but the height and the shelves match up, which is all I care about. Oh, thank God. Okay, I was so nervous about that, but it fits, I'm so happy. Um, and then it came with these screws and the anchors with it. So I just have to drill the holes 
I was wondering, I didn't, the reason I was hesitant on if this one matched up is because the holes for the screws are on the second shelf versus the ones that I have, the screws are on the top shelf and then there's also screws on the bottom shelf. So this one only has screws on the second shelf. But here you can see the difference in height between these two racks. One, two, three, four, five, six. This one's six tier as well, but it's smaller and the shelves don't match up. So that's why I couldn't use this one up here. But I'm so excited that that fits and I don't have to bring it back because that's the only one they had in stock. It was just that kind and that was the last one. So I'm so happy I can put that in. You can see that my shelves are full. Um, and so all of these products do fit on the shelf, but it is packed. I cannot put any extra polishes on that shelf. What I have here fits on here and that is it. I have fully filled it in and I have another Madden Glam on the way. So that's why I had to get this shelf. We're gonna put it up, reorganize it. I don't have the drill right now. So I think I'm gonna start working on this one and getting my Cricut set up. The other thing with the Cricut is I want to try to create some nail stickers with the Cricut vinyl and see how that works. So that will be a video coming up. that fits perfectly in that corner so let me grab my cricket and let's put it up top okay that's perfect oh my gosh I'm so excited my cricket cart the cricket literally fits perfectly on here so I will leave a link to this down below. I got mine at Michael's, uh, but they do have them on Amazon. Sometimes they're more, sometimes they're less. You just have to watch them. But I will go ahead and link the one from Michael's. And then this is my Cricut. I got the Cricut Maker in the rose gold. So here is what that looks like. It literally fits perfectly up there and then i think there's enough room behind the cricket for the sheet to go through and if it's not i can always just since this is on rollers pull this out while i'm working on it but this is going to be perfect for my cricket and i do want to put some decals like on the top or something, I wanna decorate it a little bit. Okay, so now that I have that up there, I'm gonna go ahead and put all my stuff away. So this box was what the Cricut came in and I got like a essentials kit that came with it. So it came with a bunch of like variety of stuff, but I've also bought a bunch of stuff as well as my mom's given me a bunch of stuff for the Cricut. So I wanna go ahead, 
put all that stuff in the drawers so we can get rid of this mess here. I know it feels like things get in your way. Push through those walls and the others will fall. Sit up, stand tall, you can get through it all. I need some energy, anxiety's no friend of me. I have a short memory, I don't really remember things. That's how I move on, that's how I stay strong. A new day's on, I'll keep moving right along. Okay, so I have a little bit of leftover, a lot of this stuff I'm just gonna put in the closet because those are already all in bins. And then I have some books I wanna go through, see what I wanna do with it. But here is my Cricut cart. So I've just loosely organized it for now. First drawer has like the cords, rest of my tools in here. I went ahead and kept these up top because I'll use these a lot. This one is all my pens. I got some craft scissors. These are washi tapes. Then here I have my vinyls. These ones are my iron-on vinyls. These are like the specialty vinyls, so uh chalkboard whiteboard transfer tape stencil i have an empty drawer here this one has just a couple things some glues and a stamp another empty drawer this one i have my card making stuff so my blank cards are down here and then these are all envelopes up here i do like to make cards so this is an extra Christmas one I had made. These are my smaller paper packs in here. Down here, I have some frames I did a Christmas present in a shadow box. And I just got a pack of them. So I have a couple extra shadow boxes and then just some products I'm working on. These are my mats down here. They are too big for the drawers, uh, as well as this kit has all of my 12 by 12 papers. So pretty pleased with that. A little bit of room to grow. I can always reorganize too. I think while I'm not using the Cricut, I'm gonna keep it in the bag Oh, my cat seems to have claimed the bag for his own. I think I'm going to store the Cricut in the bag and then on top of here to protect it while I'm not using it so it doesn't get dust or anything on it. But that was first step organizing. We're going to take out this box and then just put those bins in the closet. Okay, it's been a couple hours later. But I now have a drill so I can hang up my nail shelf. So what I'm going to do first is mark the spots on the wall. And then we can drill. Fast, the things that make you feel bad and you can change in your brain. looks beautiful. I did have to find a longer screw because this one took the anchor. That one was on a stud so I couldn't put an anchor in it and then this was too short because I already drilled a hole. So I found a longer screw got that in there all set. I have one more. Let's go ahead and drill for my other one now. 
I'm gonna try to match it up so that way it looks like it's even like with these shelves but on that wall. Okay, perfect. I got that one pretty centered on the wall there. So if I come back, it looks pretty even with those shelves. I know that shelf is smaller, but it lines up. Let's go ahead and hang my nail sign now. Okay, yay! So this is what this wall is looking like, I think I need to scoot my sign over a little bit. It's not quite centered, but I got it up there. Got those shelves up. So let me put away all of my drill bits, tools and everything. And then I want to do a time lapse of me reorganizing the Madam Glam colors. Hey, when you're successful, cause they try to be. They sit there being just meant to because you're trying things. And they just want you to settle and do the right thing. So get a good job, don't slack off. Wake up every morning, make a good impression on your boss. Don't do anything that I wouldn't do. And when you're making money, make sure you don't spend it too soon. <laughs> Fuck that, I'll do what I want to do. I got a different path from every... Okay, so here is how I've organized it. I did do red, orange, yellow, green. We're into teals, blues, purples, pinks. Then we can get kind of creams, browns, grays, kind of more off-white, creams, white, silver, gold, and then black. So this middle row right here is kind of like the specialty ones. I'm going to keep them there for now. I may move them one down, I'm not quite sure. But these are the marble inks. These are like the smoothie colors. And then these are all color changing. I didn't, one, because these are all different bottle shapes. Um, and then these are not gels. So I didn't want to put them in with everything else. So I kept them separate. I think I'm going to keep them there for now. New collections, I think I'm going to put on this bottom row till that fills up or whenever I feel like I want to reorganize and then I'll put new collections into place there. So I have plenty of room to grow on that end. Over here, this is my wonky shelf. You could see that the shelves are not straight and I may need to push this up so you can see this top one it kind of it's skinny and then it gets wider so I didn't level this I should have leveled it before I put it up I may need to adjust it a little bit I may just leave it we'll see how I feel but for now I've put all my top coats so here are my all of these are Madam Glam and then these are others so I have my specialty ones this is a velvet top coat regular top coat no wipe top coat base coat peel off base then I have my young nails I have my flats I kept like the mattes together and then the super shiny with the regular top coat. This is a no wipe as well. Then I have my blossom gel and my foil gel. You could see that again the shelving is kind of off. They're kind of crooked. This is my weird shelf that I got. So that's kind of why I wanted to put this off to the side here. But I may put in move the clear jelly stamping polishes over here, but I'm not sure yet. So I'm gonna leave it there for now. And I forgot to show you guys really quick what I picked up from Global Beauty Supply. I just got a few things. I was running low on files, so I picked up my favorite files. These are the Young Nails 100 Grit Files. Huge pack of these, these lost me a long time. Also was running low on my forms. 
I just picked up the Young Nails forms. Again, big roll of this lasts me a long time. I almost picked up a different brand, but this is always my go-to. If you guys have suggestions for forms for me to try, definitely let me know. I also picked up the Young Nails base gel because I was running low on that. I had a brand new build gel bottle, but I needed some more base gel. Then I saw these and I wanted to pick them up. The Cure Sky Jelly Tip System, which is basically like the Gel X from Opre. Um, I did pick them up in the long coffin since I already have the long stiletto in the Opre. And then I picked up the Builder Gel to go with it. Now I did already try them on. I have a video. I will leave a link to that down below if you want to go check out me trying out this set. And then the final thing I picked up was a backup for my cheeky color, which is not what I'm wearing on my hands currently, but it is a super sheer nudie pink color that my clients absolutely love. So I did pick up a backup of this. Okay, so I wanted to finish out the video because I completely forgot to finish it out. I was editing it and realized I never finished out the video, but this is what I got done so far in the nail studio, which is a huge improvement. I have my nail sign hung up. We got the three shells. Everything looks so beautiful. I had already got those ones done in the last vlog. And then I did get hung up my extra shelf right here. And then over here, I got my Cricut cart set up as well. So everything's looking super nice in the nail studio. I am very pleased with how the shelves look with my sign. Like that is my favorite thing in this room right now. But make sure you give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoy my little vlogs. They're not little, they're kind of long. <laughs> but me reorganizing. I still have more stuff to redo and reorganize in this room. The biggest thing right now is my swatch sticks, which I don't even want to do. But I know I'm going to have to do it at some point. So let me know in the comments down below if you want me to film that process. And also, what is your recommendations for how you organize your swatch sticks? Make sure you're subscribed to see more vlogs coming up in the future. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you guys next time. Bye.